This team is headed places. This team has goals. We got some dogs in this group. Everything they put in front of us, we attack. That's all we know what to do. You guys understand this coach staff loves you. You understand that, right? The Razorbacks are 3 and 0 after a 45 to 10 victory over Georgia Southern and now they get set to head to Arlington for the Southwest Classic. Sam Pittman's here and I'm sure you're a happy head coach oh, after that performance. Very happy. Very happy. You know, we let them back in the game a little bit there before half. You know, we, we we lost contain on the quarterback, made a fine play and went down there and then they scored right before half and and made a two touchdown deal, but I tell you what, our guys came out after that and played 21 nothing. That was so exciting, awful happy. I think there were 13 possessions, if I'm not mistaken, for Georgia Southern, seven, three and out. So, I mean, when you get that kind of performance, it gives you, gives you a chance on both sides of the ball, really. Kids are playing so well on defense, and of course the coaches and Coach Odom and Carter and Ashley and Shear, they're putting together such a great plan. And, and uh, you know, you get the ball back that quick, you got a chance. 633 yards of total offense. It's hard to argue with that. And I'm so happy for Coach Browse, you know, and his staff and 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 the kids, you know. Uh, we started fast today, and that was one of our goals. You know, we, we took the ball, went right down, you know, we stopped them three and out, and then and then uh, went right down and scored. And then it went up seven to nothing, so I was really, that was really awesome. You know, it was interesting to see last week you got KJ started by running the football. Yeah. Throw deep, first yeah. play from scrimmage today, and I mean, it's, it's right on the money. Yeah. You know, he, uh, when he missed the pass, I'm like shocked. I'm like, why'd you do that, you know? <laughs> uh, I think Dan Marino missed a pass or two in his day. I don't know, but I think he did. And then he put, you know, dropped some really pretty ones in there today. And I only had 300 and some yards of passing, so I was really pleased and happy for him. On the other side of the ball, you talked uh, <laughs> talked about the shutout that you pitched in the second half, yeah. um, but you really dominated their line throughout. I mean, you spent a yeah. lot of the day in their backfield. Yeah, uh, I was really happy with that. Uh, you know, we've got some guys who can rush the passer, and we've got some big guys like Ridgeway, you know, and guys like that can, you know, that are big and powerful. And I, I don't know that he was able to sit there in the pocket very long at all today and certainly a guy on the runs usually not near as good as a guy that's in the pocket with some comfort. Well obviously we've got a lot of ground to cover. As the Razorbacks move to 3-0 and we've got highlights, we've got more comments from coach so stay with us. Razorback football with Sam Pittman continues in just a moment. Razorback football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Pepsi. Nothing goes better with watching Razorback football than an ice cold Pepsi. Pepsi Proud sponsor of Razorback football. Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Live fearless. Taco Bell. Proud sponsor of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Downstream Resort. Enjoy the ultimate entertainment getaway as you live every moment at Downstream Resort. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Another rock and roll weekend. <sighs> Burgers. Better with Pepsi. <sighs> on game day, the Hogs leave it all on the field. But with best in class towing and payload, plus the power of a mobile generator, you can take it all with you, too. The 2021 Ford F-150 and the Razorbacks, built for greatness. Now get 0% financing for 72 months on F-150, official truck of Arkansas. Woo Pig Suey. We put faith in our vehicles to connect us. We understand how important it is to have transportation you can rely on. So no matter what the road ahead brings, we'll be there. Offering you and your family 
the support that's made Farm Bureau Insurance a trusted name for over 70 years. You deserve more. You deserve a promise. Hold up, are you dreaming on a talk show with Lil Nas X? Boom. Enough about me. Let's talk about Lex. Are you seeing this? There's no reason to wake up. You're slaying the stage together. But wait, crispy bacon and fluffy eggs might just be better. There's only one delicious reason to wave the perfect dream farewell. The sooner you wake, the sooner you'll get toasted breakfast burritos. Only at Taco Bell. Bung. It was the night before breakfast when suddenly Austin craved eggs and bacon and the toasted breakfast burritos he'd eat when he awakened. And the party was turning up, but Darren decided to wind down because sleep is a one-way ticket to toasted breakfast burrito town. So when Alex received that late night text, she thought about breakfast and she ghosted her ex. Toasted breakfast burritos are here. Go to bed, sleep well. The sooner you sleep, the sooner you'll get one. Only at Taco Bell. Bung. Up right, looks left, Hog Snow him under behind the line of scrimmage. They're going to lose five. John Ridgeway with his first sack as a Razorback. Football's a game of men. There ain't no boys out there playing. You got to be a man to be in the middle. Uh, I just feel like the new kid on the block, you know? I mean, I've been welcomed with open arms. Everyone's treating me really nice. Ridgeway back on the defensive line. Empty set, five wides. They need four from their own 40. Hard, rolling left, looking, looking. Now he's gonna run, they catch him from behind. They stop him a yard shy of the first down. John Ridgeway was there to make the tackle. It's fourth and one. Steve Sarkeesian's down 23 to seven, and he's leaving the offense on the field. This is a huge play in this football game. They hand it to the tailback. He's hit at the line of scrimmage, and he didn't make it. He didn't make it. Texas who? Texas who? Yeah. Two weeks ago, John Ridgway was in the hospital having an appendectomy, and then today he has six tackles and a sack. What did you think of his performance? I thought it was pretty good, you know. You got to love Ridge. If you guys get to know him, he's he's hilarious, you know, and just such a great person and and a, and a good team player. And But he's strong, you know. He won the state in wrestling and – He's strong, big. It's, it was a big deal for him because I thought he pushed the pocket well. I won a state in high school in Illinois as a senior. I pinned my way through, didn't get a point scored on me at all. It translates a lot, especially with uh, just feeling people's pressure in me, you know. It's when I'm going against, when we're run blocking and I'm trying to defeat the run, I can feel offensive linemen engaging off of me just from feeling my hips and just feeling body movements and pressures. So with that wrestling background of feeling movement and this pressure they're giving me, I can flip my hips around them and get around the block. You know, I played in the same town I grew up in, you know, back in Illinois. So coming here and everyone showing me around, at first I didn't even know how to get to the stadium. You know, I had to Google search it. <laughs> I knew, especially when I'm running, getting off the ball, and I have four offensive linemen following me. But then you know you kind of made a name for yourself and it's time to move on. It was definitely annoying, you know, you don't get a lot of flags when you're as big as me in the SGS. They kind of just say, ah, oh, you're a big guy, you know, what can you expect? I knew the better my chances of making it to the next level, I have to go to the NFL of college, the SEC. A lot of guys transferring in are coming from another big school, you know, so me coming here, I'm, I'm getting all the Nike gear I could want and all the Gatorade water I can want. Usually I have to go buy a water bottle before I go to workouts. Now I just walk in and get some out of the fridge. So come here is definitely nice. You know, I'm taking advantage of all the resources I can to like help me better off myself on the field. I mean, there's not a lot of guys that can just come in here and just learn everything new and step on the field. And I don't, it's hard for me to learn everything and step on the field. So I'm definitely Leaning back, looking up to the guys that have been here, and they've been showing me the ropes. Zay, TC, DG, Darren. We've been all hanging out, you know. They've been welcoming me and showing me plays, and I'll ask, like, a lot of terminology is different here. So I've been asking, like, what does that mean? Like, I'm not used to that term at all. And he's like, oh, it's this, you know, showing me it. So they've definitely helped me out a lot. And coming from my school, we had different, we call plays differently. And here, it's totally different. We'll have front side, and they'll say something else, and it's the back side. So I'm just, 
I'm basically a freshman again, relearning everything. So it's nice, you know, because it's going to help me better myself next year when I want to go to the NFL and having to learn everything new again. I bring a lot to the table when it comes to getting off blocks, and I just love, I want to lead the team in tackles. That's what I want to do. I know it's going to be hard with Grant and Bumper and all them, but hey, I told them, I was like, I'm going to make you run for your money in this year. I'm going to try and get it. I definitely bring some nastiness, you know. Like, I don't give up or let anybody get something for free off me. I make sure they work for it. So, Because I'm excited to see if they'll solo block me. I, I personally don't think they're going to see a big dude in the middle. And they're like, oh, yeah, we got to put two guys on him. So I'm definitely sure I'll go for a ride and I'll give them a couple of rides. So I'm just excited for the battles I'm going to have. Razorback football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance, local agents and adjusters, great rates, friendly service. By Ford and the Ford F-150, official truck of the Arkansas Razorbacks, built Ford tough. Stevens, capitalize on independence. And by Walmart, save money, live better, Walmart. Arkansas football, then you love to win. Downstream Resort is the place for winners and is known as the resort destination for all Arkansas fans. 374 of the most luxurious hotel rooms. Six dining options, including the world famous Red Oak Steakhouse. Eagle Creek Golf Course tested by the legendary John Daly. Downstream is one of the nation's best resorts and it's only a short drive away. The excitement of Las Vegas, only better. Come on Arkansas fans, make the short drive to Downstream. Your destination resort is waiting. Here's to the fearless fight, the comeback, the battle against all odds. For some, it's taking the first step. For others, it's forging a new path, a chance to prove to ourselves what we're really made of. And with the name trusted in insurance for more than 70 years, even a battered spirit can come back stronger. Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield live fearless. The Live Better You program basically just provides the answer to the question, what if? With Live Better You, my what ifs were erased. From the start of each day to when the day grows dark, we see that spark. We see it in your smile, your style. We see it in your heart. Thank you for sharing your spark. Love where you live and play at an apartment, community, or golf course managed by Lindsay Management Company. Affordable apartments with community amenities, including golf courses, fitness centers, tanning beds, playgrounds, and resort-style swimming pools at select locations. Are you looking to buy or sell your home and want an experienced agent to guide you through the process? Lindsay & Associates has been serving the community and bringing great neighbors together for over 45 years. Lindsay, number one in apartments, golf, and real estate. This segment of Razorback Football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Dillard's, the style of your life. First down for the Razorbacks from the 13. Smith gets the call again. Big hole up the middle to the five. Touchdown, Arkansas. The Hogs make it look easy on their first possession, and they score with less than three minutes gone in the ballgame. Second down and goal. Dominique Johnson stays in the backfield. Low snap. KJ picks it up. Gives to Dominique. Right side. Inside the 10 to the 5. Angles to the pylon. Touchdown, Arkansas. Dominique Johnson goes over. And the Razorbacks have gone up 13 to nothing. Blake turns the tight end. Now they shift green to the right hip of Jefferson. Morris is into the boundary. KJ looks to Tyson, complete it, the five, touchdown Arkansas! Touchdown Arkansas to Tyson Morris, 14 yards. Well, you've seen the highlights there, and Coach, one of the things that happened in the first half, you lose your right tackle, yeah. Dalton Wagner on the offensive side, and I thought about how you spoke about how you and Coach Kennedy had cross-trained <laughs> those offensive linemen, and that really came in handy. You know, every morning, uh, game day morning, we go, sometimes five deep on who's the next right tackle, mm. who's the next left tackle, who's the center. Uh, now, we didn't know he was going to use Clary at three <laughs> spots today. We did, but Wag, I think Wags will be okay. He's tougher than a boot, you know. Uh, I think he'll be okay. I'm not for sure that he 
couldn't have went back in there today, but you know Ty was playing so well, and then you know Ricky, and then mm-hmm. so we had to move uh, uh, Latham out there. But you got to give the kids credit for being ready to do that, and the coach and Coach Kennedy to have them ready to do that. So I was real happy. It didn't seem like we missed too much. Well, I was talking to KJ after the ball game on our radio interview, and, and, and he kind of talked about that. He, he said, these are interchangeable parts, and, and it doesn't really change our confidence level. Yeah, you know, I think we got him hit there two or three times in the first half, and and we don't, you know, he's precious cargo, you know. We do not want him to get hit. But other than that, I thought the kids, you know, the thing I was really happy with, and it's in the second half, but, you know, we put the twos in and they went and scored and they stopped them. And I thought that was a really good part of it too. And I'm talking about the O-line. One of the other things very noticeable on the first half highlights, your defense. Yeah. Uh, you just never let them get going, it seemed today. Well, the, the thing we have, we have size, but we got guys that can run. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people have guys that run, they just don't, don't run. Our guys can run and they'll run the football. And, and I think uh, – Hayden Henry said it the best the other night. He said, you know, it's a race to the ball. And we kind of play that way. And if you do that, you got a chance to win. Think about Trey Williams. He wasn't the only one, but you put some pressure on their guy today. Yeah, he did. I mean, he, he's got a couple He got a couple penalties. He's got to take care of, know when to stop. Uh, but he's an elite pass rusher, in my opinion, and he showed it today. You talked about taking control early. We saw it in the first half highlights. As you get to the end of the second quarter, I know it wasn't perfect. Uh, there were plenty of things to work on, but you had to feel like you were in control of things at that We point. were in co- control of it because I knew if we didn't turn it over, I didn't think they could score you know, very many points on us. But man, was that nice to come out the way we did after half. Stay with us. We've got more to come on Razorback Football with Sam Pittman. Razorback football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Fold Vision, the official eye care provider of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Cox, proud sponsor of Razorback Athletics. Visit cox.com for exclusive offers. By Arvest Bank, member FDIC. And by Mercy, the official hospital of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Remember that mammogram you postponed? The colonoscopy? Your yearly physical? Now's the time to get it done. Mercy is ready with COVID-19 safety precautions in place at all hospitals and clinics. So let's take care of that achy hip. The follow-up with your specialist. Plan for your safe visit at mercy.net slash your safety. Go to mercy.net slash your safety. At Mercy, your life is our life's work. Protect your connected devices with advanced security included with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. When did too big to fail replace too smart to fail? When did trend overtake truth? When did putting clients first stop being second nature? For us, never. You can't take a risk in any investment that if it goes wrong and you lose it all, that you endanger the ability of the firm to survive. And that's really what Wall Street forgot. So when do you want to learn more about Stevens, one of the country's most successful investment banking firms? It was the night before breakfast when suddenly Austin craved eggs and bacon and the toasted breakfast burritos he'd eat when he awakened. And the party was turning up, but Darren decided to wind down because sleep is a one-way ticket to toasted breakfast burrito town. So when Alex received that late night text, She thought about breakfast, and she ghosted her ex. Toasted breakfast burritos are here. Go to bed. Sleep well. The sooner you sleep, the sooner you'll get one. Only at Taco Bell. This segment of Razorback Football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Vold Vision, the official eye care provider of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Split into the boundary. KJ's going to throw. Looks right. Now he's going to throw deep. He wants Thompson down the right sideline. Completed the 10. Touchdown, Arkansas! Jefferson dumped it off in the flat. That's Burke. Got room. 
Trailing to the 30, to the 40, it's a foot race. Burks down the sidelines, nobody's gonna catch him. Touchdown, Arkansas, 91 yards to Traylon Burks. Hornsby gets the snap, rolling right, thinking about throwing, now he's gonna run. Touchdown, Arkansas. Malik Hornsby pumped, then ran in from six yards out, and it's 44 to 10. <laughs> Well, that's the way you play a second half of football, particularly on the defensive side, as we see the Razorbacks just swarm all over the place. And coach, I wonder, you're in the you're in the locker room with your team at halftime, yeah. you go over corrections, you see them come out, and boy, they're doing exactly what you want them to do. That's got to be gratifying, I would think. Yeah, it really was. You know, um, we challenged them at half, and we challenged them, shut them out, mm -hmm. and uh, they did. And you know. Those kids, they, they want to play now. They love to play. They have fun playing. I was so proud when the twos got in there and they, they, they didn't give up any points either. And then the two offense went in there and scored. And probably even better than that, Chuck, was they took the last six and a half minutes off the clock and ended the game on offense. I thought that was awesome. You know, one of the things that was noticeable, not just on that possession, you had a seven minute drive. Yeah. You had a six and a half minute scoring drive. But then you also had a scoring drive that took a minute 12. No, I like um, all of them. So, so, <laughs> so you can do a lot of different things there. You know, the one, you know, when he, when he threw it to Warren Thompson, mm -hmm. you know, Warren's a big receiver, you know, that can run and we had to match up. And of course, KJ had to make a great throw, but you know, that's why that's why I put Warren Thompson on scholarship, you know, yeah. because I knew he could do those type things. And he's getting better each week. And then, you know, threw the one out to Traylon and shoot, uh, Tyson Morris was out there blocking for him along with Kern. And once he split it, you know, gone. You got a chance to play a lot of players in the fourth quarter. And the common denominator is the speed. I, I mean, you see all those, it seems like all of them can run. <laughs> yeah. Somebody asked me about <laughs> Hornsby after the game. I said, well, I look like he's still fast, you know. Uh, but he made a heck of a cut right down here in the end zone uh, to score, and I was proud to see him and, and run the offense. Now you turn your attention to a big ball game. Yeah. You step into league play. It, have you done what you've wanted to do in your pre-conference oh, ball yeah. game? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. we really have. I wish that, you know, we had a little bit more experience with some of our twos, you know. Uh, because we know they're going to get in there and need to play. Uh, but other than that, uh, we're right where we want to be, and, and I, I look for our team to play well and play hard next week. We've got a great opponent, but I look for them to go out there and play well. Sure was fun today. It was a great time. Congratulations. Thank you. Hogs are 3-0, and and we're going to wrap it up with KJ when we come back on Razorback Football with Sam Pittman. Razorback Football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Lindsay, number one in apartments, golf, and real estate. By Dillard's, the style of your life. Pepsi, nothing goes better with watching Razorback football than an ice cold Pepsi. Pepsi, proud sponsor of Razorback football. And by Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Live fearless. I'm Sam Pittman, head football coach of the Arkansas Razorbacks. COVID-19 is ravaging our communities once again. The only way we can tackle this is if everyone gets vaccinated. As a team, over 90% of our players and staff have been vaccinated. Go to nwacouncil.org to find your nearest vaccination site. Stay safe, stay strong, and go Hawks. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Another rock and roll weekend. Uh. 
burgers. Better with Pepsi. <sighs> Independence, the ability to think freely. It allows you to tell truth from trend, to put clients first, to take the long view. We're privately owned. We don't have public shareholders, and that's the very significant difference between ourselves and other firms. Since 1933, Independence has made Stevens one of the country's most successful investment banking firms. Feel free then to learn more about us. We're glad you're back on Razorback Football with Sam Pittman, and we are pleased to welcome the quarterback to the set. K.J. Jefferson, 366 passing yards, three touchdowns in this one. First off, congratulations, and how do you feel after a game like that? I feel pretty awesome uh, knowing that uh, I just gave my guys a chance to make a play downfield. We was aggressive when we wanted to be, and we uh, connected. And I, it was just the chemistry that me and my receivers have. We just connected today. You know, we've heard the last couple of weeks about how, you know, you run K.J. early. He's a better passer. Well, today, first play from scrimmage, you're heaving it downfield. It's right on the money. Talk to us about that play, and I guess you knew coming in that was going to be the first play. Uh, the main thing Coach Brown was telling us uh, all week is just uh, we want to take a shot early, just knowing that try to mix it up. I want to start fast. Uh, last two games, we kind of started. We didn't start how we wanted to, kind of started slow. And the main thing was just mix it up a little bit. Everybody know starting out, we run some type of run play. So just try to keep defense on our toes, and we just uh, took a shot early. I want to talk about a couple of these scoring plays. The first one to Warren Thompson. He got behind everybody. Man, it was picture perfect. <laughs> I mean, that's what you throw the football for right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was the main thing uh, coming out of the sideline. Coach Brown was like, uh, main thing is we're going to put 84 in. He's going to run by him. Just give him a good ball and leave it in bounds and give him a chance. And that's what I did. And then on the play to trailing, it's nice to be able to throw it to a guy and know that he's got the ability to do what he did. Yes, sir. Uh, from the sideline, Coach Brown caught it up. Um, we looked at it, got the defense where we wanted it, and just tried to hear him get the ball on the edge trail and let him make a play. They had to mix and match your offensive line. You had some injuries. Uh, Wagner goes out, then Stromberg goes out. Does that change anything for a quarterback? A little bit, just knowing that you see who, who you got in front of you and knowing, like, okay, so – they kind of, like, my, with my old line, they're pretty old, so, you know what I'm saying, they know it, they're experienced, and they're just pretty versatile. They just show the versatility that they have on the O-line. On the other side of the ball, the defense dominated. As a quarterback, when they're giving you three and outs, one right after another, I'm sure that gives you confidence, too. It does, it, it does and it also shows that the defense are playing, playing light side, and they, we just, uh, as an offensive unit, we just got to take advantage of each every opportunity that we get. You're going to go to Arlington. First time for you. First time. What's it going to be like, do you think? Uh, I think it's going to be, a, uh, for me, it's going to be a pretty surreal moment. And I'm looking for the atmosphere like we had here versus Texas. So I'm just looking forward to it. Fun to watch you play today. Congratulations. Yes, Thank you. KJ Jefferson, 366 passing yards. The Razorbacks run away from Georgia Southern. Next week, Arkansas and Texas A&M, 230 in Dallas. And we'll talk about it when we join you for Razorback football with Sam Pittman. <music> This has been a presentation from Learfield.